This is the reading that I uh, <clears throat> I promised some days ago um, that it's going to be about uh, the square that happens it happened between the moon and the sun and the and uh, the node the the south node and the north node and even if <clears throat> it's like already three days after the event but and especially because today uh, I wanted to do it today in the twenty. To, to 2022 because this is also a very uh, uh, interesting date and we can see it as a number one but also because these um, uh, nodes <clears throat> they are not really like a place it's like mathematical points that shows uh, where the moon's orbit and uh, the, the sun path um, happen to intersect so there are like points that if you imagine like two circles that today they they can uh, meet in some some points and when when the sun and the moon are aligned then then we have the uh, the eclipses so we have the solar um, eclipses when um, uh, we have the new moon and we can have a lunar eclipses when we have a full moon but uh, when it's in between let's say like now they are opposing the the nodes or they they create like a, uh, the square then it's like a moment in which we uh, it's like a turning point a time to make some decision it's when we are now between uh, two eclipses so I thought it's um, it's really um, you know a good a good moment to, to see and, and to um, uh, bring a little bit of, of this energy here and, and I use two uh, decks um, one is uh, the children of Lithas, like like for the for the moon and 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 the, the south north and and um, yeah the other one I don't have it here now, but I uh, already selected the cards and I just put them here so just for us to um, um, go a little bit uh, faster, not to make the the video too long. But first about the, the moon, um, that, that, you know, uh, we all know about the moon. But um, first of all, uh, it's um, uh, associated with, uh, with Pisces, uh, the, the card of the moon, if we think in, in Tarot. And um, uh, we are now in the season of Pisces. So Pisces is like, if you look at the astrological year, it's the last sign and then we start all over again a new astrological year with uh, with uh, uh, areas and it's also the most mystical it's like it's like the moon you know it's 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 changeable it's can change it can be sensitive and also very restless it's um, compassionate but self-destructive is selfless and self-pitying is intuitive and secretive so you know the characteristic of the moon as such it's also uh, associated with uh, with the with the sign, with the, with Pisces, and uh, of course um, uh, in, in in normally in Tarot, the, the Moon is Artemis, so the the hunter, and um, like she she hunts <laughs> the light, the light from the sun. I mean, she reflects the light of the sun. Um, practice, like trying to catch him to it's hunting and catching him in, 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 in kind of every day and of course the earth is, is, is in, in, in the middle of these two um, parts the one of the moon and the one of the, of the sun and um, um, also um, the sign of Pisces is ruled by Neptune who is also the a mysterious illusion planet so we have not necessarily the dark, but the my mysterious part uh, associated with the moon and, and very m uh, much um, like, like Pisces is a water sign. And then on the other side, we have this, the sun, the source, the source of our light and, um, of course, the fire. And in, um, as the card, the card of the sun in Tarot is, um, the, is Apollo, the god of music, of uh, divination, of truth. And in our um, astrological uh, natal charts, of course, our sign for everybody comes from the position of the sun. So that's the ego, our self. And, 
as, uh, as, the, as the card in Tarot, it rules uh, Leo, the sign <clears throat> that we just had the full moon in, uh, the creativity and um, procreation, you can also say. Um, so, and then the two nodes, that the south node, it's in a way, the, where are we coming from, what, what is also the karma that, that uh, and also the skills and the talents that we have, so our kind of our past, but also from other lifetime, like the baggage, like the, when you think of the tarot card of the fool, with the fool coming with a small bag on his shoulder, you can say that this is what we take with us. Sometimes also the talents and the, the skills that we are, uh, we master easily. And this is where we go through. So, and in order to go there, we have to step out of our comfort zone. Here we have to leave the past and here we have to <clears throat> move to the, to the, to the north. And, and they are, these are the poss our possibilities, our challenges, our opportunities. So where we go. Uh, through. We both, we need the mystery of the moon, we need the sun, the light of the sun in order to do this journey. It's like like, like our journey in between these two nodes. And um, now since, um, I think since since January, I, I had a, I have a, a post in, in um, on my blog, I can, I can add it in, uh, in the comments. Um, that we are, uh, we have this uh, uh, south node in, in Scorpio, so a water sign, and they are always op opposing in uh, each other, and the north node in Taurus, then um, an earth sign. So this is where we are now. And then uh, I will uh, turn the cards, of course, and we can start with, uh, Let's see what the moon has to um, uh, has to tell us. And and um, it, interesting enough that, that, that the moon, as such, uh, is with the king and the pentacles. The, the the message from the moon is the king of pentacles and queen of pentacles. First of all, of course, we have the a sign of of earth. So um, very much uh, earthly here with the. Uh, uh, water and the fire, but um, the way I see it, is a, the message is very clear. It's 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 a time for us because we said it's a time of when we have to uh, to to make a change. It's a time when, as as I think, as a planetary as a society, we need to uh, change from a, a patriarchal society into a society in which um, the masculine and feminine they both have the same. Um, they, they are both honored in the same way. Um, so even if, if we look at the, the king of pentacles, it's, a, um, it's a very, somebody very trustful um, and, and, and um, you know, very wise. Uh, in in the, the card of king of pentacles is also associated with uh, Taurus. And the, the card in Tarot for Taurus is the Hierophant, so also the tradition. It's a very trustful, it's a stability, it's a fixed element, the Taurus. So it's all um, something that we can, we, can, we can trust very much. Um, and, and it's like, you know, the king is also very much about intellect, but um, here is then, then, then air with, with, uh, with earth. But it's also the end of a project. It's, it's, a end, it's the end of an era. It, 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 it did great. That's not, 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 that's not the point. And, and now the queen that is coming, she is very um, uh, wise. She is very warm. She is actually the symbol here of, of Mother Earth. Um, she, is, she is very, um, she is also a, a leader. She is a decision maker. She has humor. She was taking care of the earth for so long now, protective and uh, uh, protecting the physical world for, for generation now. So now she just wants to be at the same uh, or wants. Now it's time that these two, uh, if you think in energy, the divine feminine and the divine masculine that are uh, in, in balance. Um, interesting enough, the, this card, the particular card, oh, let me show the cards, the queen of pentacles is, um, I think I need the light to see it better. Oh, okay, now it's maybe too much, but uh, the, the Queen of Pentacles, uh, it's, um, um, uh, we see here the, the Capricorn. So this particular card is associated with the sign of Capricorn. And 
um, Capricorn has such um, rules, um, or is yeah, rules the the the, the uh, um, tenth house, the house of um, uh, of social status and career. And the King of Pentacles was, uh, you know, with the Taurus was uh, ruling the the second house, the house of values of personal belonging. So now we have like ambitious women coming and uh, also uh, real leaders who wanted to make a career. But in, in Tarot, the card uh, associated or uh, let's say with the sign of uh, Capricorn is the devil. So in a way, these this, this two have something in common that uh, they both know what, uh, what uh, they all both understand the, the, the flesh, you know, the human nature or the material, the material part of, uh, of, uh, of, of, of uh, what is in us. And especially because she is uh, uh, so much in, in, in the social status. So they, they, they can, she can somehow, um, like, um, you know, handle the devil, let's, let's say, let's put it like this. So this is um, a very interesting, uh, like, like stability on, on one side of the, of the old structure and the, the, the king of pentacles and the patriarchal society, but uh, also this um, earth mother uh, coming and um, uh, prote protecting the, the, the physicality of this earth for the generations to come. So that's, that's, uh, that's now very, also very important to, to think of the generations to, to come. So, um, oh yeah, and I wanted to, um, to check that I'm trying to get here to my computer if it's still working. Uh, there were some nice poem associated in, uh, in the deck with the cards. Uh, for the King of Pentacles, it was, I share my wealth with you, if that is what you desire, but know that is wisdom, not wealth, that builds a lasting empire. So that will be from the King of Pentacles. You know, we see it here um, with, with the Taurus. And the message from the Queen of Pentacles is um yeah let me find it all that all that i have i give you freely it is the duty of the old to provide for the new so like i said um uh, in her intention to to take care of future generations now let's see what um what has the the, it's here the card that connects a little the, the, the moon with the south <laughs> with the south uh, node and 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 this is the card of devil what i just said that the queen of pentacles and and the, the sign of capricorn so and then the card associated with capricorn is devil and these two can can um, let's say they no, they can work good together, but they if there is somebody who who can um, 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 take care of the devil or or um, uh, and not, it is not intimidating more to say about the the, the devil is the the Capricorn. Uh, it, it's it's strong enough, and in this in, in this case, the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, Anyway, this card is intimidating because if you look here, yeah, there is this dragon and the two that look like they are in chain, but actually the chain are very free. They want to stay there, you know, they want to enjoy the uh, the flesh. And I think that one is Pan, the, the uh, god, or it's, it was also um, a symbol of uh, this one with music, with everything that has to, you know, enjoying life. And this is with... Uh, the uh, god of uh, wine that's why sometimes it's associated also with drinking and um, but uh, um, it's it's not it's not it's something that you know the temptation and it's very much something from like now like here if it's coming with uh, with with south something that comes from the past something that we are used to you know this is the 
material world that we are used, we used to in a way and, and the pleasure, the way we see the pleasure and, and the way that, that uh, you know, we are human, we say, and we have the pleasure of the flesh and, and, and uh, they are all, let's say, in, in, in this card. Uh, but if we if we think that uh, um, this uh, the card of devil let's say is associated with a Capricorn, it means that the devil also knows that the Capricorn is very ambitious and it knows that they they want to go up and up and and they are very uh, the social status is very important. So um, um, the ruler of uh, of this um, of the Capricorn uh, is Saturn, and also with a lot of boundaries and limitation. So, with other words, if if um, uh, Capricorn managed to to get over uh, the, the the temptation of the devil, or what the devil tries to to stop it in in in, in this uh, going up, in this uh, achieving or uh, of the of a social state status. Uh, the card associated with Saturn is the world, so you can just get the world if you go be behind the limitation and, and the boundaries. So, the way it's here, you know, we have to uh, balance the two and it's not only me and you, of course, we also have to do it in ourselves. Uh, there are lots of meditation, especially lately, about how to balance the feminine and the masculine because it's in all of us, but also at the... At the uh, society in our society and um, and then of course to let not let the devil hold us back because this card of the south north it says don't let the past hold you back but now we have the devil not to let the devil end so now let's see where we go uh, so we said this is the past now where we go in which direction and the direction we are going through it's the Queen of Pentacles because it's another set again the Queen of Pentacles if it's not was clear with the the first card now we have another card uh, from another deck but again the Queen of Pentacles so this is let's say even if it's challenging even if it's a it's a it's a confusing and exhausting time especially in this period of of where uh, of uh, Pluto returning and we know that Pluto is a very mysterious planet that um, uh, needs like 240 years to, to make a cycle and be back in the, same, um, in the same planet. And we all heard, I hope a lot of people heard about the Pluto return that it's going to happen in two days. Anyway, this 22 to 2022, it's in so many ways a, 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 a big date. And, uh, <clears throat> and he is the, the lord of the underworld. So, um, yeah, sometimes it's even, you know, the devil associated with, with uh, Pluto at some level. But uh, this, is, uh, this is where we are now. And, uh, uh, yeah, uh, we have to... We have to rebalance the, the, two, and the two energies for sure and um, interesting enough because I hear I said about Taurus and the North Node is in Taurus so we this is also a sign of stability so it doesn't mean we leave this energy of stability and earth uh, and trust let's say this fix uh, very fixed earth the stability of a fixer we don't have to leave it totally because uh, now we are in Taurus so we 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 uh, uh, this is uh, our direction, but indeed we need to find maybe another type of stability. Step out of your comfort zone. So leave that patriarchal stability that we all know and we are used to. That's, uh, that's very tempting because it's also associated, of course, with ma materials and, and the, the pleasure of the flesh and just... Uh, <clears throat> find something new and and um, this beautiful card you know also very much uh, protecting the nature give this divine feminine the crown uh, back and and indeed think of the future generation and 
the earth because she is much associated with um, Mother Earth, then then we we'll, we can leave it to 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 the next generation. Yeah. The the Earth will survive, even us. I think we as we as humanity, we need to take <laughs> to do our best to to stay. I don't think that the Earth is um, in danger to disappear, but maybe we are. Anyway, that's the. And then the light is coming, the light of the sun. Uh, there are also a lot of talks now about the solar flashes and how powerful the light is. And it has also, you know, it's also involving this change in, 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 in this uh, um, in this in this movement of uh, that that also Pluto is bringing. But I mean, if we want to believe that. That, but I believe in all these energies that are 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 making a bring or bringing all these this this changes in 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 a personal level, but of course also at a, a planetary level. So let's see what the sun has to say. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, we talk about the change. The sun brings the light and the lovers. Uh, and the lovers is uh, associated with uh, Gemini, so it's a, it's an air. Um, but the ruler of Gemini is Mercury, and the card of Mercury in, in Tarot is the magician. So, what is going? You know, if we need some magic in order to make this transition and and to step out of our comfort zone and and don't let the devil keep us and and rebalance this energy that. The magical, the magical, uh, the magic can be done with love. So we come back to love, of course. And uh, then and the other card, the judgment, the judgment card. And you remember I was mentioning at one point that, that if, if Capricorn managed to um, go over the boundaries and the limitation and, and also associated with the devil, then we come, uh, we get the world. And, and before the world, we have the judgment uh, uh, card, but this is not necessarily a judgment, you know, who goes to hell and who go to heaven because both are here on, on the planet. Um, it's just that um, this is so much and, and like the time for awakening. This is the, the moment we need to you know, take the mask off, you see, this. he's taking the mask off, put your wings, <laughs> and, um, and in, interesting enough, the car, uh, this card is associated with Pluto, so the, the uh, planet that is uh, uh, the, the, uh, with the Lord of the Underworld, the Hades, and, and even, even more, <laughs> Uh, the, the Pluto rules Scorpio, so it can, you know, the Scorpio is here. We have to move from there, leave the past, and 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 this this, uh, you know, the this card is also um, associated in a way with this. Uh, with it, it's it, it's the time for awakening, and then we can do all this. Uh, what we would like to do and what we would like to change and before i finish or no i don't finish anyway but i have i forgot that i wanted to read the poem um, associated with the devil because this it's also uh, maybe interesting before we have the last card i have the last card you think you own what's before your eyes you think you are too pure for greed and lies that's earth, the pentacles. So now laugh and drink. You are sure to be merry. The weight of your sins you are later to carry. Falling further, you'll think your splendor sublime while I wait in the shadow just bending my time. So it's waiting in the shadow for us, but we have to use the light. And, and uh, of course, also, Enjoying life, nobody uh, says we don't have to do that in order to find a, 
enlightenment or uh, and the last card that I um, choose or I came out from um, this um, tarot of divine deck that's also very nice because it's um, there are every card and we have <laughs> we have again the lovers that was the card that was um, so we come back to love but in to make it even more interesting <laughs> this um, this um, uh, the author of this deck also wrote a book and the book is um, beneath the moon i use it in other readings already and um, yoshi yoshitani and then the the, the the story with the, <laughs> the story with the lovers um and yeah i think we all know it i mean it's obvi obvious i i don't i don't think i really need to look for it just for curiosity um it's the beauty and the beast so you know we have the beast here the dragon the devil we can also say we have now i see you know we have the this the same like we have the taurus that they both have this um uh how do you call this I can I can only I can only the Romanian name, um, the horns. So the devil has or the dragon here has horns, almost like the one of the Capricorn. And here you have the 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 Taurus also, and then then here the. So maybe maybe by embracing and not maybe but for sure, even this beast is um, you know is sensitive to love so that everything. Um, can be conquered by love. I think that's that's actually the meaning of the of the story. But I really have to find it because I just first of all I want to see where oh, they also said which uh, from which country the the story is. Oh yeah, look at this. So the beauty and the beast is from China, a Chinese fairy tale. Oh, today the the Winter Olympic uh, Olympics just end up in in. China and I was not very um, yeah of course that's another story but it's a communist country it remains a communist country but uh, excuse me and I'm I was born in one so um, but it's the country and the, the culture remains uh, beautiful but um, uh, we uh, we all know how uh, the love of uh, this um, girl manage to change or to to uh, um, the, the curse that was on the beast uh, was lifted when with with her love uh, she made her, him free so yeah the shadows all the horns here they can they can be um, it may be a curse uh, maybe even the devil, maybe even the dragons, whatever we think it's, it's has a, a bad connotation. Maybe it's not so bad after all. Maybe they are just cursed. Maybe they are just playing, uh, playing their role. They, they, they came here to do that, you know, to, we need, even if we talk about, about uh, the sun and the moon and the eclipses, it's, you need shadow and light. Otherwise, um, and, and the moon is always looking for the light of the sun now in the same way, but you need to have the dark and the light. So maybe that's, um, and now it's the time, you know, to bring love to uh, even love between masculine and feminine with all these lower cards. I can't have enough. And especially it's a six, you know, and this, this is the 2022, it's the sixth year. So um, anyway, let me finish because this is just, just too good to be through. Um, I have a new set of, of nice uh, making magic uh, small cards. So let's just me and let's make magic because we said that the magic is love is the magic. And wow, we have a star, the silver energy of the star brings good luck and serendipity and then we follow our star we fought, follow our north node we go for it and with this wishes for all of us 
I thank you for, uh, I hope you enjoyed the reading and I thank you for being here.